let's start from day one, being elected as mayor. I could tell you at this point, as much as I thought it was going to be difficult, I had no idea how difficult it was going to be. I had no idea financially where we were. $8 million deficit, no fund balance. The reserves that we had for the water trust is gone. And what is the only thing that the city has to do is provide services to the people? Because without services, you have no economic development. So we dug in from the beginning, knowing that, quite frankly, who are you going to make happy? People don't want their taxes up. The unions want more money. And people don't want to lose their jobs. So when we sat down with my staff and we looked at all the areas, we understand that anything that we did from this point on, no one was going to be happy. But what is in the best interest to our city? How do we change our city? How do we rebrand our city of a city that, when people say only in Utica, that it could have a positive or it could be a negative? Only in Utica, we have Matt Brewery. Only in Utica, do you have Masonic Research Labs. Only in Utica, that you have the Stanley Performing Arts. Only in Utica, that you have the Months of Williams. Only in Utica, that you have tomato pie, Riggies, the greatest food in the world. You know, you start feeling, at this point, you feel good about the city, don't you? Only in Utica, we can't get along with each other. It's where we want to bring it. It's where we want to bring it. Our future is in our hands, and we have some great things happening at this point. First day in office, I had to put the finances back in shape as we talked, and it was very difficult. But on the economic side of it, we have a lot to show. We have a lot to sell. My background is sales and marketing. We looked at the Harza building, which was talked about for years and years, who's coming in there, who's not coming in there. I had six different people going through that building, down to two. And Tom Clark, who quite frankly, his passion, his love for his city is there. But you have to give him a reason that his investment, he will get a return on it. That the politics of the past have ended, that we're going to move forward. So meeting with Tom and sitting with him, we came to a conclusion. It's a great opportunity for us. So Tom purchases the building, then the next thing is we have Utica College. We're starting to put something down there. We talked about Bozzards for 15, 20 years. All these great things are going to be happening. I reached out to a developer out in Syracuse, United Auto Supply. I said, you're not in this Utica market. You, do, you deserve to be here. You're missing something. He came in, we talked. And I will tell you, we're seeing development there. It's jobs. It's construction. Tracy Road Equipment will be coming in. We'll probably be making another announcement very soon about someone else coming in there. Now we're starting to see there's opportunity in this city. You looked at the Cosmopolitan Center that's been vacant, nothing happening there. Tony Cristiano, Tony's Pizza, has not reinvested into the city, I can't tell you how long. I sat with him, why? No one wants to work with me. And you hear it all the time. No dialogue, no communication. We sat down, we went through the building. He's putting in a family restaurant. We talk about the auditorium, a gem nestled down there. We have one of very few of the franchises in the AHL, the Utica Comets. We've taken the pride of the Clinton Comets that we all know, the pride of, of hockey in this area. Everyone was looking for it. You had two investors, Rob Ash and Frank DuRoss, local people that see, you know what? There is a change, there is a different feeling. Investing into this. Bass Pro Shop, we're one of only two in New York State. They didn't come here because they're not gonna make money. They did a market analysis. We're right on the throughway. Between Syracuse and Albany, what else is there? Utica, New York. You wanna go up north? You gotta come to Utica. We've already had these assets, but it's up to us to sell these assets. And we could disagree. And sometimes we disagree for the right reasons because we don't have all the answers. We all know that. Whoever's been married, whoever has kids, whoever has a job, it's part of life. It's what you do with that. It's where you bring it. Do you dig in and say, well, you know what? You didn't support me. I don't care what the ideas are. That's gone. That, that's gone. The horizon is upon us. We're right here. 
We looked at the harbor, we've talked about it. Other mayors have been working diligently to, to put this together, but it's coming to fruition at this point. If you go down the North Genesee Street, you'll see demolition. You'll see great things are happening over there. You have the Marriott that's gonna be building, the first Marriott in our area. People are coming here for reasons. What are the reasons? We didn't even touch on the nanotech that we've talked about for how many years. The governor, quite frankly, has dug in. If we're not prepared and ready for the new venture, then it's gonna bypass us. It'll be here, but we won't be ready. But right now, I, I don't think the city has been in a better position. The greater Utica area has not been in a better position for over 25 years. And that's because, quite frankly, elected officials are talking to each other. That's because people like you are communicating and dialogue. I, I don't want to mislead anybody as far as our financial position where we are. By any stretch of the imagination, we are not out of the woods. We went from an $8 million deficit to a surplus of roughly 1.6 unofficially in a period of 18 months. Hard decisions, we went from 630 employees to 510. We've made the necessary cuts, but you can't cut yourself out of this. In order to grow, we need to grow economically. And we have to provide the best services that we can because that's the only thing the city has to offer is our services to provide to you to, for your reinvestment to the city, for our growth of the city. The time of the past and why we didn't move forward is not important. You learn from the past, you understand the present, and you plan for the future. It's time that we come together, and we have. It's not pipe dreams, it's real.